What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make these paint clip holders. So we have a paint clip right here and all we do is stick it in one of the holes. It's good for painting stuff. And I'm going to show you two versions. One, how to make one out of tape. And two, how to recycle an old Gundam box. make that into a paint holder. Okay, the materials you're gonna need are ruler, box cutter, pen or pencil, glue, an old Gundam box, and some cardboard. And if you wanna make it out of duct tape, of course, duct tape. I'm going to take the dimensions that is 11 and a half just about to seven and one third so I'm going to write that down on my handy dandy tape need the height too. So the height, we can just go with this, is around two inches. Perfect. So two. Can't see that, but that's fine. Take my box. I'm going to take my box and then measure it up, but I will show you. So, most of you have these lying around. These are box cutters. If not, you can use a hobby knife, but I choose to use a box cutter to save my hobby knife blades. The main thing you want is these little holes over here sticking up. Uh, if you have the closed sides sticking up, then you've done it wrong and you need to do it again. So, we're just gonna start cutting. So, I'm going to. Now, what should I do? Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's draw a line from the edge. So, an easier way to do this is to make the long cuts first. So, that's 11 and a half by 2. So, we're going to just mark 11 and a half. Lemon and a half. And go down the line. Okay. Actually, I don't know what happened to that first uh, first marking. Measure twice. Cut once. One and a half. And you can go all the way down, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to cut this piece off by two. So now that we got our measurements. This is basic wood, woodworking too. We're going to line it up. And go all line down. And that's our end. Okay. So, then we're going to 
gonna take this going down and we're gonna mark every two inches. So, two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. All right, and we're gonna do the same. Can't, can't see it, but let's try the bottom. There we go. Don't worry if you don't get your height perfect. Just barely close enough. That crooked? No. Maybe. Okay, so. So we draw three lines across just to make sure our line is consistent. Because if you just draw one line, you never know if you're kind of crooked. So I'm going to take my box cutter. And then instead of cutting this piece out, because I could just go down here and do 222 two, two by 11, I'm just going to cut our three pieces right here. So. Oh, uh, be careful, kids. I'm going to make my first mark. A little bit over. So I have a clean cut. And I'm going to make it across. There we go. Now we just do that over. So we get the cut from one. using a south healing mat just in case I don't cut up the table and bring that out. Make it loose. Lift it up a little bit so the blade can go through. All right, cut slowly and you should not get injured. There's three. Take our box. And we'll make sure it fits. Perfect. I'm just gotta stuff it in. So I'm going to nice. Okay. So I'm going to fill this in and we'll be back. Okay, so we made our box with our cutouts, and I cut a little bit of extra. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to do it with tape. So I got my duct tape here. I find that duct tape works the best. Um, if you use painter's tape, uh, painter's tape over time gets kind of weak when it gets dust in it. So I'm just going to lay it on the table. Get my duct tape. If I 
can start it here. Get my duct tape. Cut a strip out just to start it. Please be careful. Then I'm going to carefully tape this up as tight as I can. Flat. One corner flat. Take my tape and just wrap it around. side it's gonna open up that's okay a bit piece my box cutter is kind of dull right now from cutting all these boxes and miscellaneous things. If you have another set of hands, someone to help you, then that will be great. As tight as you can. I'm gonna flip it up, or flip it upside down. And then I'm gonna go across. Be careful not to cut yourself, cut away from you. So. As tight as you can. And then I'm gonna do this several times. are done. And that's your simple paint holder box. Let's test it out. I can get this open. Yep, it works. Perfect. So that's how you do it with tape. Now we're going to move on to the box part. So let's get a close up of that. Perfect. Okay, 
So, with our box, we're going to take some glue. And we're going to have to take all of these out. Now you probably know what comes on this part. So we're just going to put a layer of glue down here. On the sides too. I have wood glue over here, but any glue would work fine as long as it adheres, adheres to paper. Get the clean tip. Okay. There we go. Sides over here. I'm going to take some strips and just stuff it in as tight as I can. And then, just so I get a good, strong line, I'll put some glue in between these uh, sets. Press down, glue, and I'll see you guys back when I'm done. Alright, now that we have our cardboard in there, It's gonna take some time to dry, so we can go ahead and put that on the side. Actually, first let me show you a trick. Take your ruler or a pencil and start packing it down. Let's get a good uh, adhesion to the bottom. Since our setup is long ways, we want it to hold it down. So we'll cut our box. Uh, so we'll cut our box going like that. So it just holds down the sides. Maybe about uh, half an inch. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is mark. I'm using the Sharpie so you can see. Pencil is not the great on camera. So I'm going to mark half an inch going down. Same to the other side. Now the reason why I'm using this uh, old Gundam box is because I don't need it anymore. There we go. And then we can just draw a line. Doesn't have to be perfect unless you're that type of person.
there. And we'll just make a straight cut. Same with this, maybe not a half an inch, that uh, would be too much. I'm wasting. So, yeah, if you want, you can do the same with this edge. So, we're just going to cut this out. Now you can use a shoebox if you want to. Sorry, my cutter is kind of dull. This side is kind of wonky, but it feels sturdy, strong, won't tip over. All right, last part. We're going to glue this side so we can permanently have this box or the top on. So what I'm going to do is... Glue the top. So when we slide it over, the glue will go down and have good coverage. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. This is just for my uh, to discretion. here on the edges just in case. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot I just glued it. So put the box back on if we can. Without getting too much glue on our hands. might have to fight with it, but that's okay. There we go. Tap it down a little bit. Okay, okay. we're just gonna press. And we're good. So I suggest letting it dry overnight. sure there's no leaks. See a little bit cool over here. So yeah, I suggest letting it dry overnight. Uh, hopefully yours turns out great. Take my ruler, pack it in. Just in case I knocked anything loose. 
see some glue coming up, which is good because that means we have a nice seal. Cool. All right. So we took an old box and recycled it and made our own Mr. Hobby paint clip holder. Test it out. Good. That was that's good. Okay. Making sure that the glue doesn't stick. So yeah, there we go. Um, if you enjoy this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Uh, click the notifications. I have a couple more how-to videos coming up. And then we're gonna custom build that RX 70, I forget the name, uh, New Gundam. I'm doing an overview video on it right now, currently. Bring this into the shot. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.